Hello, welcome to the Monday, January 6, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. As always with the new year, there are a number of new laws that went into effect with uh, the new year. Now, one law that affects information security is the California Consumer Privacy Act or short CCPA. It is often compared to the European GDPR and uh, sort of a California version of it. And also just like for GDPR, if your business is not located in California, you may still have to comply with it if you are doing business with California residents. Now, Kevin wrote up a very brief sort of two minute uh, digest of this new law. So if you want to read up on it, it's probably the quickest way to get sort of the high level uh, of what this law is about. And Cisco released a total of 12 patches. Now, three vulnerabilities being addressed here are of particular interest in that these are authentication bypass vulnerabilities that allow full administrative access to the Cisco Data Center Network Manager. Interesting that it's three distinct vulnerabilities, but they are actually similar in their nature, uh, one for the REST API, second one for the SOAP API. Both of them are essentially a static encryption key that's being used to derive session tokens. So once someone has one of those uh, appliances, they're able to extract uh, the encryption key and use it against other installations of the same software. The third one is also very similar. Now, uh, this one is sort of the web-based uh, management interface, not the APIs as the first two vulnerabilities. And in this case, again, it's static credentials. So very similar vulnerabilities uh, overall. According to Cisco, there are no workarounds. Uh, really all that you have left to do is apply the patch. And since we spent a lot of time last week with uh, path traversal vulnerabilities, uh, there's also one being addressed here by Cisco in DCNM again. And it itself uh, doesn't really sound all that uh, critical, but uh, once you're using one of these authentication bypass vulnerabilities together with the path traversal vulnerabilities, you may actually be able to get access to other devices and data. And then, well, in case you got one of uh, those uh, nifty Xiaomi security cameras, someone else may have been able to accidentally view your footage. Apparently, what's happening here is if you integrated uh, these cameras with uh, Google's Nest Security Hub, it was possible that you saw someone else's footage. According to Xiaomi, this particularly happened if you had a fairly poor network connection. There is some caching that apparently Xiaomi was doing and as a result, well, they delivered someone else's image when you downloaded the footage. Again, according to Xiaomi, this affected about 1,044 users. So one of the issues really I think that's somewhat trending here is a lot of these IoT devices are relying on cloud services and the user has very little control and insight into what's happening with the data once it hits the cloud service. With the camera on premise, you can always fix your passwords and update the firmware, but there's really nothing you can do about a bug like this that may really be a bug in this backend that's run by the corporations that produce these devices. And well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.